so Jack it and also PS Play are both amazing apps to help us remote play our PS5 console to our ROG Ally, Ally X or indeed any PC gaming handheld. And having recently just got the PS5 Pro, now is the best time as any to find out exactly which one of them is the absolute overall winner in five key areas which are price, ease of use, features, amount of lag and finally visual quality and performance. Plus we'll see how they both compare to the PlayStation Portal and I'll also share which one that I prefer using. So let's pass through these and at number one is price. And I'd say that Chaki, or as it's technically now known as Chaki-NG, with the NG standing for new generation, and the latest version at the time of recording is version 1.9.1, that this wins this key area as it is completely free to use. And I guess we can't get better than free. Saying this, PS Play or PX Play as it recently rebranded to due to it being flagged on the Google Play Store for being too similar named to Sony's official PS Remote Play app is only £13 and dollars and as a one of cost this is very good value and we can use this license if we have multiple handhelds like an Ally and a Steam Deck 2 which is awesome. At 2 is ease of use, a big part of this is having a super clean interface to navigate. We can see PS Play here looks minimalistic while retaining key features with the settings being along the left hand side that we'll get onto in a moment. Check you can see here also delivers a really nice and accessibly clean interface. All of the settings are really clear and easy to use and are instead along the top compared to PS Play. And I think if I had to pick the interface that I personally like the most as being the most pleasing to the eye then it would go to PS Play. Both are equally super accessible in doing one of the most important things and that is setting up each app for remote play. With the brand new PS5 Pro console thankfully being recognised under the standard PS5 console without any issues. And I'll leave links to both my recent check it setup guide and also the PX Play guide in the description below. Key area 3 is features and it's pretty even here with both Check It and PS Play offering a multitude of options such as a choice of resolution, FPS, streaming bit rates, different hardware codecs, audio buffer sizes, controller feedback and the most important of all which is the ability to use the onboard controls of our PC gaming handheld which is just not possible on Sony's official PS Remote Play app unless we use a third party app called Rewise that I covered in this vid link below. Because obviously they want to lock us out and get us to buy their PlayStation Portal, which we'll compare to in a moment. Both allow us to play away from home too, on a different Wi-Fi or a cellular hotspot. On our handheld we just connect to our mobile device, and in PS Play we click on Remote Connect and away we go. I think playing away from home is pretty new to check here, as in the latest version of 1.9.1 .1 that came out two weeks ago, they've now added this setup automatic PSN remote connection option when we first download it. So again now connected to my iPhone 16 Pro Max in my case, loading up Chaki NG 1.9.1, it comes up with this establishing connection with PS5 console over PSN. I'm now controlling my PS5 Pro console over a cellular hotspot and if we check out the quality we can see that it's just not that great to be honest and we are much better off installing any game natively instead of remote playing from our PS5 console. One of our great viewers from India called Sachin Pandey asked today in fact how we can use swipe gestures on the DualSense touchpad like to call out horse and ghost of Tsushima. I don't think this is possible on PS Play so Checky may actually win in this key features category as in the latest Checky NG 1.9.1 they've now added the ability to use the D-pad as touch emulation. So now when we go into Checky settings under controllers we can enable this D-pad touchpad emulation and we can have swipe gestures using the D-pad, pretty neat. So now let's check out the two and final most important key features which are the amount of lag and visual quality. So key area 4 is crucial when remote playing in the amount of lag present. Let's start with the PS Play app. As we know, let's make sure our PS5 console is connected via Ethernet to our router, <laughs> sorry, router, and our handheld is on the 5 GHz Wi-Fi signal for the very best possible remote playing experience. What better way to test lag than on a speed trial of the phenomenal Astrobot, where super fast reflexes are absolutely essential for this. <laughs>
Wow, so I was really surprised in just how responsive the controls were in both PS Play and Chiaki for such a quick reflex part of the game. It felt like lag was very minimal to non-existent. And doing complex platforming sections like this is extremely doable and more importantly I'd say enjoyable. And I was able to complete spring loaded run in about a minute. But now let's do the ultimate lag test in an online multiplayer FPS. Of course the game at the moment in the highly addictive COD Black Ops 6. And it's here in online multiplayer, especially something as intense as a first person shooter like Black Ops 6, that while remote playing is definitely playable, we really are better installing games like this natively onto the Ally or whatever PC gaming handheld that we're using to ensure there is zero lag. And in fact, I've done a best settings video guide to Black Ops 6, link below. And a huge thanks to the amazing RG Ally Life website for this and all of the amazing written guides that they provide to our awesome Ally community too. And our final key area 5 is visual quality and stability. And while lag is extremely minimal and incredibly playable in both PS Play and Chiaki, especially when not playing online multiplayer games, let's see which has the edge in this final area. Beautiful to show you Hawaii without mentioning surfing. Keola has his spots, but it's up to you to discover others. The island is full of them. Oh, so did you see what happened there in the amazing The Crew Motorfest? Chucky on the right did glitch out a bit, and in my testing, while Chucky is fantastic for a free app and does work the vast majority of the time, I have found that the PS Play app definitely does have the edge over Chucky in terms of performance, stability, and reliability, which is such an important factor to consider when enjoying remote playing from our PS5. I'd love to know whether you prefer Chucky or PS Play, so do let us all know below in the comments. But for me, while Chucky is a great free option, I really do think that PS Play is definitely worth the one of £13 and dollars. I find the interface to be a bit more slicker, and while the minimal lag is about the same on both remote playing apps, I do find that PS Play, as I say, does have the edge in terms of better performance and stability. I have to add that Chucky and PS Play absolutely thrash the PlayStation Portal. You know that device that's dedicated to PS5 Remote Play? Big reviews to the channel know that I really try and be super positive and encouraging in all things video games with it being my favourite passion. And I desperately want to love the PlayStation Portal, but the visual quality, micro stutters and lag are by far so much more prevalent on this thing than Chucky and PS Play put together. It's insane. I just want to share too that I was kind of blown away in the comments to my PS5 Pro review in the last vid. I knew that many of us gamers were very negative towards its lack of disk drive and vertical stand, along with its sky high £700 and dollars price tag which are all understandable. But I didn't know just how much extreme negativity there really is towards it. But I've got to say that I'm having an absolute blast with mine and I don't regret buying it at all. I think that it's absolutely worth getting if you really do care about super crisp 4K graphics with ray tracing all at that super smooth 60 FPS. And with it being the very best way to experience the 50 plus PS5 Pro enhanced games, I absolutely cannot wait to revisit my favorite gaming experiences like Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. And as a thank you for watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. Life doesn't allow us to go back and fix what we have done wrong in the past, but it does allow us to live each day better than our last. Yes, life is just too short to hold on to past regrets and mistakes. We may not be where we want to be in life, but thankfully that we're not where we used to be if we just keep focusing ahead. So stay encouraged today, guys. And click the top right if you want to set up Chiaki or the bottom right for the PS Play setup guide. I appreciate every single one of you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.